Welcome to 92.8 FM One Radio, raises learners of Kayawan Elementary School. Hello, kids. This is your science six teacher, Mom Jo. I will go along with you as we study a topic from the MLC. Demonstrate how sound, heat, light, and electricity can be transformed. Let us fill the day with a smile as we start our new lesson. Kindly get your activity sheets and ball pen and get ready to learn. Last time, you have learned about the gravitational force and frictional force. Can you still remember it? I'm glad that you can still remember it. Gravitational force is the force exerted by objects to each other. Frictional force, on the other hand, opposes motion between two surfaces touching each other. Can you still remember the four kinds of friction? Excellent! These are rolling, sliding, fluid, and static friction. When an object rolls on a surface, rolling friction is present. Sliding friction or dry friction occurs when two surfaces rub against each other. Can you remember the friction present when a swimmer swims in water or when an airplane glides through air? That is correct. Fluid friction is present. When an object stays steady on a surface, static friction is present. Very good. You have recalled our past lesson. Now, we can move to our lesson for the day. Our lesson today is about energy, its types and forms. Later on, you will have another activity, so listen very well. I am sure you can easily answer the activities as long as you focus on our lesson. I would like you to answer this question. What would happen if you throw a paper airplane to the air? Will it move away from you? Yes, it will move away from you because you exerted force on the paper airplane. I will now talk about the energy together with its types and forms. You may hold your learning activity sheets while I'll do the explanation. Listen well, kids. Energy. Energy is defined as the ability to do work. When work is done on an object, energy is transferred to that object. Therefore, it will move. Energy can be classified into two general types. These are potential energy and kinetic energy. Potential energy is the energy at rest. When a paper airplane rests on a surface, it has potential energy. 
kinetic energy is energy in motion. When you pick the paper airplane and throw it in the air, it flies. As it moves, it possesses kinetic energy. This time, we will explore the kinds of energy. There are eight kinds of energy. These are mechanical energy, chemical energy, radiant or light energy, electrical energy, magnetic energy, sound energy, thermal energy, and nuclear energy. Let us talk about the first four kinds of energy first. Listen well, kids. You may look at the activity sheets for the kinds of energy. The first kind of energy is mechanical energy. Can you say it again? Very good. Mechanical energy. Mechanical energy is a form of energy possessed by a moving object. A moving bicycle has mechanical energy. The second kind of energy is chemical energy. Say it again, kids. Great. Chemical energy. Chemical energy is the kind of energy stored in molecules. The laptop battery contains chemical energy, which is then turned to electrical energy to power the laptop when we use it. Another example is food. When we eat food, we can use the chemical energy to provide us energy to move and to do different activities. The third kind is radiant or light energy. Light energy can travel through empty space. Example of this are the light from light bulbs, ultraviolet rays, x-rays, and microwaves. The fourth kind is electrical energy. Can you say it again, kids? Correct. Electrical energy. Electrical energy is the energy produced by moving electrons. Examples are lightning and electric current that flows through electrical wires. Those are the four kinds of energy. Mechanical energy, chemical energy, radiant or light energy, and electrical energy. Now, we will talk about the last four kinds of energy. The fifth kind, magnetic energy. Magnetic energy is possessed by an object that has magnetic, magnetic field magnets. Next is sound energy. Sound energy is the energy produced by vibrating objects. When objects vibrate, sound is produced. Another kind of energy is thermal energy. Thermal energy is a form of energy present in every body due to the motion of molecules. It is also called heat energy. A hot iron possesses thermal energy. The sun and heat from volcanoes have thermal energy. 
those are the eight kinds of energy. And last is nuclear energy. Nuclear energy is energy released from the splitting and fusing of nucleus of an atom. Nuclear power plants and the sun possesses nuclear energy which is a very powerful source of energy. Did you understand the different types and kinds of energy? What are the types of energy again? The types of energy are potential energy and kinetic energy. What are the eight kinds of energy? Very good. The eight kinds of energy are mechanical energy, chemical energy, radiant or light energy, electrical energy, magnetic energy, sound energy, thermal energy, and nuclear energy. Now, let's move on to the activity about the lesson. Classify the forms of energy present in the given examples below. Write mechanical energy, chemical energy, radiant or light energy, electrical energy, magnetic energy, sound energy, thermal energy, or nuclear energy. Write your answer on the blank before the number. I will give you two minutes to answer. Timer starts now. Number one is burning matchstick. Number two, flying kite. Number three, lightning. Number four, radio. Number five, battery. Number six, sun. Number seven, moving tricycle. Number eight, flashlight. Number nine, burning wood and number 10 food stop I am hoping that all your answers are correct if not it will be just fine as long as you try your best in our activity next time keep your activity sheet and make sure that you will send it to me when your parents or guardian return it to school once again this is your Science 6 teacher, Ms. Jocelyn F. Mendoza. Always remember, science can make the impossible possible. Till next time, kids, God bless and stay at home.
don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the notifica notification bell so that you will be updated on our grade 6 lessons. Again, this is Teacher Joe. Goodbye.